Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Next Gen VR. Today, I want to review the Pimax Deluxe Modular Audio Strap. So for those who aren't aware, Pimax first made the standard modular audio strap, which had really bad audio, and then they upgraded it to the KD Moss, which they have sold on their website for a long time. But it's only been recently that they've finalized their DMOS and are selling it widely on their website. So they sent me a DMOS for review and I am someone who was already very impressed with the KD Moss. So now I will let you guys know what I think of the DMOS. So without further ado, let's jump into the next generation. All right, so let's start with the ergonomics. This is what the headset looks like with the earphones installed. And what's really cool about this is you can adjust the earphones uh, left or right and up or down. So that is a great feature to have in order to adjust it to match your ear height, which is very important. Now in terms of installation, it was pretty easy and straightforward. There's a really short video that I'll link to, that guides you through the installation process. You basically just unscrew and then put the new one on and screw it back in and you're good to go. All right, so the first thing I noticed is that when I have it set to 100% volume, it's still a bit too quiet for my tastes. So I was wondering what's going on. I'm trying this Beat Saber. But then when I go onto YouTube and I listen to a really loud song, well, any music on YouTube, it sounds really, really good with these speakers. The crispest bass, the best sound quality I have ever heard from a VR headset that has floating earphones. So then the question is, how do you make the volume louder in general beyond Windows 100%? And so, I will show you guys actually what I did to make it louder. And once I did that, playing VR games was amazing in these headphones. It is, it is better than even the Valve Index earphones were. So if you would like a standalone floating solution for your sound, this is great quality once you uh, do these software steps that I'm going to detail next. All right, so we have this software called Boom 3D, and this is what you need to install. And to use this is very simple process. So first, um, what I like to do is enable 3D surround sound and then uh, go to the game preset and enable the equalizer. This makes the sound even better than it already is, but this step is optional. I'm gonna show you the software that will actually boost the volume itself. This can boost the quality of the audio in general, but that is part is optional. All right, so the software I'm speaking about is Leta Soft Sound Booster. So you simply download this uh, trial version of the software and then you install it. Once you have it installed, all you have to do is open the tray icon, select enable, and then you can increase the volume for anywhere from zero to 500%. And I found that when I increased the volume to around 150%, it was really loud in the DMOS and so you can really crank up the volume and this is not something like art of like you can actually tell that the volume is louder and that no quality was lost using this software so it's great that both sound booster and boom 3d can work together to make the sound even more incredible and much louder all right so my overall thoughts I'm really impressed with the DMOS. I think it is a huge upgrade from the KD Moss and anything else that uh, VR headsets have revealed so far. However, you do have to use some third-party software in order to increase that max volume. So I hope that this bug can be fixed by Pimax so that users don't have to use Sound Booster in order to do this. But once you do that, it's just really so much better than even the KD Moss. So the only reason I would use the KD Moss is if I didn't want to disturb some people nearby because there is sound leakage, obviously, and that's standard for any uh, floating earphones. So, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for many more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.